Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the iPhone app podcast. Today we're going to take a look at the app called Yellow Pages. But when I went to the iPhone app store, or the iTunes app store, and actually downloaded it, it was called Air Yell. And then when it showed up on my phone, it showed up as Yellow Pages. Now, this is not to be confused with the Yellow Pages app that costs 99 cents that has some options. This is actually what we're looking at in the App Store is Air Yell with this simple search here. Well, let's, let's load it up in the iPhone here. Uh, it's going to ask if we can use the current location. Of course you can. Um, and then you just basically type in the name of a business um, or service and hit search and it's going to bring a bunch of those based on closest to furthest away um, and it brought back 18 Starbucks in the area now if you click on the map it will actually take you out of this app take you over to the maps application where you could you know get directions and all that good stuff um, but it gives you a lot of information here so of course we can go and view more yeah, let's go back to the beginning here um, we've got the phone number so blue link of course of course if you click on it it's going to dial that phone number um, and then if you click on the map it takes you to maps so it gives you the whole address and everything which is which is really nice as well um, would be cool if you could actually you know create a contact out of this information but that's okay. I mean, it's a free app, and obviously their 99 cent app has a little bit more uh, capabilities. Um, their 99 cent version will actually um, it has some categories down at the bottom, and we'll do some we'll do a review on that app soon. Um, but I, I still I was a little confused. I, I think that the new version of this app. I'm guessing isn't called Air Yell anymore. It's called Yellow Pages, and it's probably the it's just the free version of the Yellow Pages app um, from the uh, Aventar LLC company, which is a sister company or whatever to uh, Yellow Pages, the actual company. So, I mean, it's it's a good little app uh, if you're just looking to find something, find the phone number for something. You can use it to search. Um, I mean, I typically would use like. Google's uh, text messaging service or whatever to get the information um, but it's probably just as fast to load up this app and actually get the information from Yellow Pages. Um, the only problem with using Yellow Pages though is that if the company has chosen not to advertise with Yellow Pages then you're not going to find them. So if they haven't paid for a listing within Yellow Pages then you're just you're not going to find them like I don't have a listing for my business in yellow pages so you're not going to find my business in the yellow pages which I don't really care but uh, so you do you you could possibly be limited there in the sense of of finding the businesses I mean uh, most businesses are listed in the yellow pages so it shouldn't be an op uh, an obstacle at all for you but nonetheless there's always that possibility so really simple app here to help you find businesses or services in your area that would pot that would normally be listed in the yellow pages um, later on we'll do a review of the uh, 99 cent version of yellow pages um, but until then this is Jared with the iPhone app podcast and Hope we will see you next time. Take care.